Hi guys, welcome back to TOK Today. My name's Daniel, and today we're gonna to look at essay number two, November 23, The Artists and Mathematicians' Beautiful Patterns. The notes for this video and detailed notes to help you with this essay are available from toktoday.com. Remember to hit like and subscribe, sit back and relax. I'm gonna hand you over to Ed and Cherry who will take you through this essay. Ed, I have a question for you. If the mathematicians' patterns, like the painters and the poets, must be beautiful, what would be the impact on the production of mathematic and artistic knowledge? Cherry, it's exactly the sort of question I like because I think that it's probably about the ways in which knowledge is made, rather than about the knowledge itself. So, you're saying it's about the production of knowledge, not so much about the knowledge produced, it's about subject rather than object. But, that word beauty could lead a lot of people to think that it's about the object of knowledge production, Ed. Well, the two are obviously linked. Maybe a good place to start Cherry, might be to think about the reasons why mathematicians make knowledge, and compare them with the possible reasons for artists making knowledge. Aha, you're doing a lot of thinking out loud there Ed. Okay, Cherry let me tell you all about it, there's a nice contrast here. We could compare the debate in mathematics between pure and applied maths with the debate in the arts over whether artists make knowledge for themselves or for their audience. That debate in maths would be that pure maths is made purely to extend mathematical knowledge, whilst applied maths is made to solve real-world problems. And then the debate in the arts would be that some art is made just for the artist to express their inner world, whilst other art is made to engage the audience, or what TOK people call the knower. I'm following. Cherry, but I'm not sure what that's got to do with beauty. Surely, beauty is not just a relativist concept, you know all that stuff about, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I hear you Ed, and whilst I'd love to hold this space for your relativist leanings, I'm not sure that they'll be sufficient to get high marks in the TOK essay. Relativism can be a TOK student's bad habits. The argument could be that, True beauty in the production of knowledge should be unpolluted by those external constraints such as audience preferences in the arts, and real-world problems in mathematics. I feel that this might be described in a lot more detail in the notes available from TOK Today Cherry. Yes, your feelings are perfect Ed, there's heaps loads more detail on this and 9 other arguments in the notes 10 arguments for essay number 2 November 2023 on TOK Today. Okay Cherry lay it all on me. Well another argument Ed, could be about the role of interpretation in the production of knowledge. Interpretation is one of those 12 TOK concepts that just make us all so happy when they are used in the TOK essay. Okay, when I think of it in terms of interpretation of knowledge cherry I guess that everything has changed. I can now see that processes of interpretation of knowledge in the arts could change both how patterns are identified and how they are used in the production of knowledge. As such the role of interpretation in the production of artistic knowledge could change the explanations, justifications and perspectives pertaining to that knowledge, which in itself could change the definition and attribution of beauty. Oh, you're one of the TOK beautiful people now Ed, but can you also apply interpretation to the production of knowledge in maths? In maths the interpretation of pre-existing knowledge, as axioms, theorems and models, could affect both the justifications and evidence used by mathematicians. Yep, Cherry, this TOK stuff flows like a river for me now. Yes, Ed, and to get into the A-team you could even apply it to the discussion of the relationship between forms, objects and theorems in maths. Well, maybe you're losing me there, Cherry. What do I know? I guess I can find out a lot more in the 10 arguments for SA2 from TOK today. Those notes could make you a lot happier, Ed. Let's look at a final argument, the role of context. The idea of not considering context in a TOK essay frankly gives me the shivers ed, I mean everything is context. Sing it cherry. Well, there's a really interesting debate to be had about whether the patterns are merely context bound, or are they universal. This debate could be developed to consider whether beauty is also context bound or universal. Then this debate goes next level when we consider whether the methodologies of knowledge production are context-bound or universal. I'm liking the shape of your argument Cherry, but don't you have to link it back to the prescribed essay title? I'm getting there. You see, if the patterns, 
beauty and even the methodology are context-bound then there may not be an underlying near-aesthetic structure to mathematical and artistic knowledge, as implied by Mr. Hardy, because that definition of beauty is ever-changing. I hear you Cherry, I love your thinking out loud today. You've given me a lot to think about, I feel we're in the end game cause I'm definitely feeling some afterglow from your wisdom. Thanks Ed, I just tried my best to tell you all about it, let's hand back over to Daniel. Thank you very much Ed and Cherry, um, it's a sort of brief overview, it's also a bit of light fun, you've got to have some fun, but the 10 argument notes that I've produced for this essay are really detailed and they go into knowledge arguments, evaluation points, implication points, real life situations, references and so on and so on that you can use in your essay. They're over 9,000 words long so there's lots of content there to help you with your TOK essay. We all we also have 25 prompts that you can use with artificial intelligence, such as ChatGPT, um, which will give you really specific and direct content for this essay title. Both can be picked up at toktoday.com. Okay, remember to hit like and subscribe. I hope that that was useful for you and I hope to see you on the next video. Have a great day. Stay toktastic. See you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.